go forward and I bring out all these verses and you read them, what it says okay. and what it talks about. And it talks about why it, what it, why the commandment was given. The whole, all, the whole point of the commandment was that they would rest in God and not their own works. That's the whole point. Yeah. Everything Moses said was with the intent of bringing that forth. So that when they got into the promised land, they wouldn't think they got that by their own strength. They would remember that they got it only by God and then that they wouldn't trust in their own works, but they would trust in God and they would find blessing in life all the days of their lives and they would find their children living in the land and their children's lives being established and that they wouldn't find cursing and death. Right. Right? Right. So um, maybe you're going to touch about on this next week, but is and we've already mentioned that God only brings life. Mm -hmm. But many times in Deuteronomy, and in particular in Deuteronomy 28, it talks about God smiting or or God will smite you. So is that to be interpreted in the same context as we understand God's wrath to be, in that He will He's basically allowing. Um, it's like 20, 21 and follow. Oh, 21 and like I said, 28. So no, no, in chapter 28, but verse 21 and follow. So here's the context of that. And this is what it's, let's see, let's see if I can pull it up. Because it tells you, and you have to wrestle with, um, what does this mean? It's right. like, Mar I wish I could, wrestling I, wish I, could, I wish I could repeat what Maurice said that day. There, I don't know exactly how he said it, but there's there's the meaning of what is written there, yes. and then there's what's written there. Yes. And those are two different things. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And so what you want to try to wrestle with with God or the scriptures, if that's what you like to do, is what do these verses mean instead of what do I think they say? Yes. And one of the things I posted in the Bible study page, I said, let's not let us not read the Old Testament and ask ourselves what it means, but let us read the Old Testament and think of what did Jesus see that this meant. Yes. Right? right. Yeah. Okay. But when you get to and that was helpful. <laughs> when you get to Deuteronomy um, thirty-two twenty, this is what it says. This is after Moses laid it all out. God's talking, telling Moses, "Listen, man, they're not going to hear. All right. They're, that's that's why I'm going to send this great prophet after you. He's going to be in your likeness." Look what it says in Deuteronomy thirty-two twenty. And he kind of defines the smiting, and it would be defined like faith, right? Um, and before I read this verse, for example, and we talked about this in the men's Bible study, but like with Gideon, you know, all the Midianites were killed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Did Gideon kill him? I don't know. No. It says that they they turned their swords on one another through fear and confusion. Okay. What it says. And what what Gideon and then went in there was an earthen an earthen vessel right. with a right. light inside of it and a trump. What will happen is they'll blow the trump. And when they blew the trump, they would smash, take the earthen vessel, take the light, smash the earthen vessel on the ground. Mm -hmm. And then the Midianites turned on each other. Right? That's a picture of Christ, okay. right? Because the trump was a declaration of Christ. Yes. The earthen vessel was Christ's body, body being broken. Mm -hmm. The light was Christ. Right. Um, so you have an example like that where you, you wrestle with the scriptures. But when you get to Deuteronomy 32, 20, this is what it says. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very froward generation, children in whom is no faith. Okay? So when it says that God's going to hide his face from them there, it's, what it's basically saying there is that they're not going to partake of blessing in life because they're not going to believe on God. They're going to trust in the strength of the flesh. Okay? okay? Yeah. So through the whole book of Deuteronomy, what does it say will bring cursing and death? God or trusting in your works? Trusting in your works. Okay, so who does this mind? Trusting in your works. Right. Yes. So what, remember when we talked about um, Exodus and the judgment? Yes. Right. What was God's yeah, yeah. judgment yeah. against the gods? He judged against Egypt's gods right. as being able to provide life. Yes. Right? Yes. Talks about them being smitten mm -hmm. by the judgment of God. Right? Yes. Well, what was the judgment of God? That those gods you're believing in can't give you life. So what actually smote them? The gods the they belief. believed in? Yeah. Right. Yeah, the belief. Exactly. Okay. So when he talks about God smiting in, in context of the blessing and the cursing, what it's saying there is that God has issued a judgment mm -hmm. that trusting in the works of your own hands for life will not give you life. It will give you death and cursing. Okay. 
Okay? Right. And if they believe on other gods, then that's going to serve them with that. Yeah. That's them being smitten by God. Okay. Right? Yep. Yeah. Good. That makes sense.